Hello everyone, my name is Arvind Krishnan and I'm an Applications Engineer and Co-Engineer. Today we're going to look at some of the simple post-processing options in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Setting up the study and uh, creating the meshes is important, but another integral part of any FEA study is post-processing. You need to know what you're looking for and how to get them. To get your default options in SOLIDWORKS simulation, you have to click on simulation and then click on options and go to the default options tab. I have four plots that are created by default in any static study. They are von Mises, stress, um, result in displacement, equivalent strain and factor of safety. If your company or you always like to look at let's say the first principal stress then you can change that over here. So default units can be defined over here. I like my stress in megapascals. Um, some people like English units. This is where you go to change that. So I have a steering bracket here with a force. The back end is fixed and uh, is a fixed hinge on those three circular faces. I have already ran the study and uh, defined some plots over here. These four plots were defined by default. So if I double click on a plot, it shows the stress distribution. There's a legend on the right which shows what each color means. I can double click on this legend and change some of the properties like the color options in the bottom. I can change from a floating to a general to a scientific. I can change the number of decimal places that I want. There's also some details of the study shown over here on the top. If you double click on this, you can edit the definition of the study the deformation scale, the some advanced options like node and element values and also what type of study. You can also change the units for a specific plot over here. To define a new plot, you just right click on results and select the type of plot you want. Uh, so let's say we define a displacement plot and we want to look at only the Z displacement. So select Z, select your units, Let's say we want inches and the deformation scale. We can either do automatic, which is what the software prescribes, or we can also do a user defined. So let's say we have a hundred. Hit the green check mark. So this plot is deformed a hundred times more than the actual value. We can see an animation of it with the exaggerated deformation. Another cool post-processing tool is called Design Insight. We have a dedicated video that shows how to use that option. It is used to try to reduce weight in your design. So today we looked at some of the post-processing options in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Thank you.